In this video, I'm going to show you how with a single key map, I switch my mouse, monitor and keyboard to another computer. I have two computers, a laptop and my Mac mini. And a lot of times I need to switch between them really fast. I don't use a KVM switch. This is the keyboard that I use. It's a glove 80. You don't need to use this keyboard. You can use your own. Just keep in mind that this keyboard has the ZMK firmware. So if your keyboard has that firmware, you can grab this code that I have here and make it work on your side as well. If you don't have a ZMK keyboard, maybe a QMK keyboard or something different, not not exactly sure, but at least this video is going to give you some ideas on how to make it happen. So first of all, this is the keyboard that I use. Like I said, remember that you don't need to use this. This is just what I have. And this is how I made it work. But use your own keyboard and see if you can come up with a similar solution. Normally, the way that devices are switched between computers is using a KVM switch. I have one listed here. You connect all your devices to the switch, like your mouse, keyboard and monitor, and you press a button and that is going to switch it between the computer one and two. As you can imagine, that means having a lot of cables. This key keyboard is wireless. My mouse is also wireless. It's a Logitech MX vertical. Notice that at the bottom it has a button which you can press to switch between three devices. You can see it closer on this image, but it's inconvenient to be turning up the mouse and pressing the button to switch between devices. I'll show you how to automate this part as well. So here in my keyboard, I have two custom defined behaviors, one on this key that I press with my thumb and the other one on this other key as well. When I press this, a series of steps or a series of key maps are going to be pressed. Let's look at this. For example, if I press this button, this macro is going to be executed, which presses a series of key maps. It's going to key press right command, left command, and the number five. Then it's going to release it and it's going to wait 50 milliseconds. That is going to switch my mouse. I'm going to show you what all this means in a little while. Then to switch the input source on my monitor to the other device, here's another key press. This is going to press left control, left alt, left shift, left command, and the number five. I'm going to show you what that does in a little while as well. Then it releases that, it waits 50 milliseconds, and then it switches the keyboard. It's just going to press this key, Bluetooth 0, which is the one that we can see here on the magic layer, Bluetooth 0, and that switches the keyboard itself to another device. The same thing happens with the other button that I have here on the left. When I press this, the macro here is going to be executed. Notice that the name matches here, we have the same name. This is going to switch the mouse, but instead of the number 5 that we had here, notice here, number 5, number 5, and Bluetooth 0. This is the same, but it's going to press number 4, number 4, and Bluetooth Two. And that Bluetooth 2 device is my Mac mini. This Bluetooth 0 device is a MacBook. So what does all this mean? I use another tool in the background called Carabiner Elements in Mac OS. Notice that that's the operating system that I'm using. If you don't know what Carabiner is, I have a video. You'll be able to find it on the top right corner. I go over everything in detail, how I set it up, but I'm going to show you right now real quick. So when my keyboard presses this key map, right command, left command, and number five. So here's what happens. Right command is my hyper key, left command, number five. So what Carabiner does in the background is to execute this shell command. This shell command uses this tool called hit API tester or HID API tester, however it's pronounced. And what this does in the background is switch the mouse to another device. For my specific mouse, which is the MX vertical, this is what I use. This is the command. And here on the right side, you will be able to see number one switches the mouse to the channel number two. And this zero that you see here, which is the mouse to the channel number zero. So this is the same thing as if you were going to press the button that is down here. This is the channel one. And and this other one is the channel two. So I don't have to flip the mouse. That key map is going to take care of that for me. What happens after the mouse is switched to my other computer? Then I switch the input source on my monitor. And how do I do that? When I press this key map, left control, left alt, left shift, left command, and number five, I use another tool, better display. It's for Mac OS and I open it. You have to pay for the pro version. So you get keyboard shortcuts. If I come to this section here, you will be able to see that I have a few shortcuts configured. This one, number four, which is to HDMI and all of these keys keys and five switch to display port two, which is my other computer. So by pressing this, I switch the input source on my monitor to the other computer. And then the last thing I do is to switch the keyboard itself. That's the last step by pressing this button, PT0. The exact same thing happens when I want to switch to the other device. I went over this already, but with the number four instead, if we go back to Carabiner, we're going to see here that I have the number five and I have the number four. The same thing happens in better display. I have the number four and the number five to switch between the two devices and the same thing happens in the keyboard. This is Bluetooth 2, which switches to my other device. If you want to see a video on how I use this HID API tester, how I came up with this command, because you have to figure out the command that you need to use, let me know down in the comments. I can create another video for that. I'm still testing this keyboard out. So far, it's been great. Once I feel comfortable with the keyboard and if I like it, I'll release a video to show you what I like about it and what I don't. Some people may ask, do you need to use a ZMK or QMK keyboard? 
I'm not exactly sure I figured this out because it's the keyboard that I'm using at the moment. But if you're able to figure out other ways, let me know down in the comments. I want to know how you guys do it. If you want to avoid all this, if you don't want to do it via software, but instead you want to do it with a physical device, you can use one of these. Just remember that you're going to have a lot of cables on your desk and it's going to be a little bit messy. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hope you found it useful. Let me know what you think down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.